channel for yet another podcast episode <laughs> ah, and before we begin like before i dive into anything let's just have a round of applause for my name <laughs> oh my god i'm so in love like one thing about me i love dark colors i'm so in love okay so if you're new here my name is brielle and thank you so much for clicking on this video you know so today's topic we're going to talk about signs of a frenemy okay so like let's just start okay so number one <laughs> they always gossip <laughs> so uh maybe majority of the times you'll find that maybe you have mutual friends and then sometimes when you're with your mutual friends they'll come and tell you so and so said this and this about you you know ama in other scenarios like you'll find that this person will come to you and talk to you about other people. So let me tell you something. Like if someone comes to you and talks to you about other people, just know they also talk about you to other people. Like <laughs> it's just a given. You know, a true friend will have your back behind your back, not talk about you behind your back or talk about other people with you. You know, like <laughs> number two, it's always <laughs> favors you know like they will come to you for favors and you'll give them like when they come to you you'll help them and do them the favor that you know they came to ask for but when it's your turn it's a different story like they're not available or they can't do it for you you know like a friendship is supposed to be two-sided like you help me i help you but if you're the one always doing the helping and then when it comes to you it's another story just that's a frenemy you know that's not a person you can call a friend because a friend cannot be hot and cold, you know. Number three, <laughs> my criticism. Okay, so like friends, of course, a true friend is supposed to tell you like whenever you go wrong, a true friend will tell you like, no, whatever you're doing will lead you into a ditch, you know. You're supposed to like take this other route, you know. But a friend in me, as much as they'll criticize you, they'll criticize you maliciously. Like their main aim will be to, to like put you down in their criticism, you know. Like a true friend won't criticize you maliciously. They'll criticize you with love. You get what I mean? Number four, they only make everything about themselves. Like every time, maybe when you guys are having a conversation or when you meet up and you start talking, it's always about them, 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 and never about you, you know. It's always about my things, my things, my things, and they never ask about your side, you know. Like, that's not a sign of a true friend. Like, a true friend will also want to know how you're doing, what is going on in your life, if you're having any problems. You know, someone who's involved also with your business, you know. Like, it shouldn't always be about them. Like, at every time you're together, they're just talking about themselves or they want their problems on the table so that you guys can help but when it's your turn okay it's never even your turn like they don't even ask about your side you know so yeah it's a two-way thing number five a person who's always competing with you, you know like you know there's um there's friendly competition you know when you're with your friends maybe and they're doing things to inspire you obviously you'll be inspired and you'll be like okay i'm seeing my friend is doing this and this so he or she is inspiring me to also up my game you know that's like um what is it called healthy competition you know but a friend who who is always trying to one up you like they want to feel like they are better than you ama they are doing better than you moving further than you like that's not healthy competition a person who always looks at you and then wants to do something better than you or they try to do the same thing you're doing but they want to do it in a better way like that's a frenemy because that's a person who like a person who's competing with you in such a manner is a person who's jealous of you you know like they have secret envy but they are not like bring it bringing it out so it's coming in through competition get number six they are not only happy about your wins or your achievements <laughs> like have you ever um encountered someone 
that you thought was your friend but when you share like your good news or your achievements you can just see that they're not happy for you either from their face or like from their words how they talk they're like but so but uh, like maybe they'll tell you but mimi i'm doing this or but so and so also did this but in this way you know like they'll find a way to make your achievements feel small if you get what i mean yeah so a person who is always not happy about your wins like pay attention and pray for discernment because i'm telling you god will always show you those people <laughs> who have malicious intent or they are not for you god will always show you so keep praying for discernment because a person who is not happy for you you'll just know you'll see it's either they'll show you or they'll speak it or like and showing maybe it's through actions or just their facial expressions you can tell when someone is not completely happy for you so yeah number seven malicious <laughs> jokes <laughs> like those people who are always like joking and making you like they're joking about something but in a malicious way and then when you complain they tell you it's a joke you, you can't take a joke <laughs> like those people that that type of people like mm -mm. you just know that's not a true friend because why would someone joke maliciously like what's the point if you want to crack a joke crack a joke that i too even if you are put you are joking about me like make it in such a way that at a mimi i can laugh you know but <laughs> if you're putting it in a malicious way i'll just know basically your your intent is to hurt me or like somehow you're not happy for me or somehow i'm making you feel uncomfortable in a certain type of way you know yeah like in this world hey especially among women like it happens a lot i don't know what is wrong with women like we should be striving to build each other up and not put each other down you know and it's so common nowadays even not nowadays only just from a long time ago this has been happening so like women we need to pull up our socks honestly number eight they only you drained. have you ever like hung out with someone after hanging out with someone like you just feel totally drained those are energy vampires like i don't know how to explain it <laughs> it's like they're just sucking the energy out of you it's never building you it's just draining you you know that's a sign of a frenemy and majority of the times when you feel drained it's usually because of these other things that i've mentioned like they actually do that which as a result at the end of it all after hanging out it leaves you drained number nine they barely compliment you <laughs> so you might be looking nice looking you know pretty beautiful well put together but this person will never compliment you or like just give you a compliment you know like and that is usually a sign of jealousy or competition like <laughs> maybe in their head already in their subconscious you're better than them or you look better than them you know so it builds it builds um jealousy and it builds secret animosity so like they will never like for them to give you a compliment it will take ages or never even <laughs> you know so if someone if someone barely gives you a compliment and that's not to say that you now you should just be throwing compliments ni 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 like no like you can tell when someone has secret animosity you can tell so yeah just be careful out here last but not least <laughs> they always join on your misfortunes so like they never um bring up like good stuff when it comes to you like when you're having conversations it's always about the bad stuff like the things you've been through or there are those people who will only show up when you're going through something you know but when you're having like wins and celebrating good things they will never be there you know they only they just show up when you're going through shit or when you're like going through it you know <laughs> so yeah the, uh, that's the topic i had for today and those are the like 10 signs i had because i wrote them down yeah so yeah like guys tread carefully out here not everyone who is hanging out with you has good intentions just make sure that you're vetting people thoroughly like inside out 
know your people know the people who have good intentions and i'm telling you you can tell whether someone pretends they someone can't pretend for a long time you know it afika two point they will like show their true colors so yeah keep your eyes open and pray to god for discernment because god will always show you this type of people like he's he'll always reveal you know yeah so thank you so much for sitting with me to this point if if you watched me to this point kindly and you've not subscribed like just subscribe and like my video okay so yeah <laughs> until next time love you guys see you bye